everybody and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be teaching you yes you how to find your own vending machine i'm going to give you three different ways that i use when i was looking for vending machines and each time it turned out to be successful you're going to open up your computer and we'll follow along together so the first way to find a vending machine ebay a lot of people don't understand how great of a tool ebay can be this is for people that don't mind paying for shipping because a lot of times picking up vending machines can also it can be a bit of a hassle when you have to worry about if you don't want to have to worry about picking up like you know moving yourself a heads up that shipping is more expensive if you're looking to spend that kind of money um just think about how big it is like if you were to buy a couch the shipping might be maybe like 100 200 extra bucks but it's something like a vending machine that's gonna run you something extra some like minimum i've i've only really seen shipping minimum for a vending machine like 400 dollars and at that point you could have bought another machine with that same money so let's check it out let's check ebay out so first you know start off on google and we're gonna go to ebay.com so first thing we're gonna do we're gonna search for vending machines <laughs> okay vending machine we're gonna search it now as you can see um this model right here the AP 7600 that was my first ever vending machine um yeah that was my first ever it, it actually was this color as well now I did not pay for $950 for the machine so to me that's a little steep that's that's a little steep if you have that kind of money by all means you do what you do but when you're first starting i would recommend that you be as cost efficient until you start figuring things out more as it says the item has been inspected clean repaired and worked in in to full working order and it's in good condition and that's great so obviously it looks like here they have more than one sold 10 they have three more available which is cool now pay um ebay has this cool thing that you can do it with payment honestly that's not how i roll so if you are interested in making payments you know just to save some money when you first start that's fine you do what you feel is best i don't know your expenses but i would recommend once again that you start small especially when you're just getting started so this this is the ap um snack machine 7600 um very good starter machine very good honestly it's, it's it's really reliable i have had minimal issues with it um the dollar validator can get a little dirty so make sure you get you some bill cleaners as well 76 percent on the seems like 93.3 positive rating that's actually very good um depending on where you live it's you know it says it's coming from south carolina now you should probably read into the details of shipping because once again shipping can get very pricey so once again before you buy this or if you're interested in buying this make sure you read into the shipping because if this machine here is costing 950 dollars then the shipping is going to be somewhere up there as well and within that range about seven eight hundred bucks because that is a very heavy machine and i had two of them so i know exactly i know exactly how heavy it can be and you're going to need help as well but now for this price i do not recommend um for this machine i have bought two of these machines and the very first time i bought one i bought it for um about 250 and you can see the price range difference here from 950 to 250 but that also include not that did not include like the moving expenses so you can probably Throw on like another 125, you know, gas and stuff like that included. The next way that you can find vending machines is Craigslist. Craigslist. People sleep on this all the time because a lot of people uh, believe that there are a lot of scams going on with Craigslist. I'm not saying that there is. I'm not saying that it isn't. I'm just saying that when you look on Craigslist for anything, you should be careful just like you would anywhere else. Let's, let's go to Craigslist and see what kind of machines we can find. So we're on Craigslist. Let's see what kind of machines we can come up with. So we go here to the search. Same thing as we would when we did on eBay. Vending machine. Okay, so as you can see, there's a lot of them already. Now this here, this 
uh, vending machine combo snacks and drink machines. Just posted today. No, no, no. What's today? What's today? Yeah. Well, well, just well, no. Actually, according to this, it was posted 27 days ago. So maybe they renewed it. Yeah, they updated it about 19 hours ago, which is good. So which means that it's still available. So make sure you know you're always reading the descriptions. Um, for trade is a functionally snack and drink machine combo. Snack machine works perfectly. 19 slots. It'll need a coolant recharge. But it, it does run and cool to a point, but not to be not to the desired temperature for ice cold beverages. Okay, one thing I'll need to point out is that when you're looking for vending machines, obviously, if you're being cost efficient, you're looking for um, used machines that can save you some money. So this this right here is literally saying that the drink part of the machine needs a coolant recharge. Now, when you're first beginning, you may not know what a coolant recharge is. Just like a lot of people right out the right in the beginning, they'll just go out and hire somebody to do the job and they're gonna charge you like three, four hundred dollars when you could have did it yourself. Now I'm not recommending that you do it yourself, especially when you first begin, because unless you're like an HVAC or a technician or you know your way around machines, I don't recommend that you do that on your own. If I was looking for a machine, specifically a combo machine, I would not choose this because I want to use machine, but I don't want a machine that I got to come out of more money. They already want 1300. I'm not spending that anyway. Like I told you, my first machine was around $200. So I probably spent less than $500 between buying the machine, the product, and getting it on location. So let's go back. Let's see what else we can find. Oh, look, someone selling a actual vending machine location for sale in Alpharetta. Now, something like this, Open seven days a week, 1,500 heavy foot traffic, must have a combo machine, self-service car wash in Alpharetta, posted 20 hours ago. This is actually a major come up. Uh, this is actually a major come up right now because you think about it, you don't have to pay for the moving fees. You don't, all you have to do is pay for the snacks. You pay the, um, the person that owns the machine and now it's yours and you can keep moving and you have a profitable location. And make sure when you're looking for these machines, people, you always ask for a ROI. If you're not comfortable with that, you need to go on a tour and see how things go. Number three, Facebook Marketplace. It is a great place for a lot of different things. Not just looking for something like vending machines, but let's say like shoes, tools, furniture. It's so many different things out there on Facebook Marketplace. And I think a lot more people are getting hit to it, which is why it's, it's growing so much more. Let's head over to Facebook Marketplace. Vending machines and I have it set to about 100 miles for where we're going. So right away, you find something like this right here. Listed a day ago, Snailville. And it's a drink machine for 300 bucks. What is, what is the description? I have a functional drink machine for sale for 300 bucks. It's used in fair condition. Now that's great. So what I'm gonna do, I would go and just message this person with the already preset message that Facebook already has down. Is this available? I'm gonna go ahead and send, see if that's available so I can purchase it. Now, friendly reminder, when you're looking for vending machines, you always wanna make sure you test it out. Being that this is a drink machine, it looks like it has about six or seven options. You wanna make sure that you go ahead and bring like a can or two with you, um, a can of soda or two with you to test it out. Test out each roll to see if it works. You know, placing the money, checking to see if it works, the change as well. If it's a credit card machine, you know, you check that out as well too. So I, me I went ahead and I messaged this guy so we'll see when he gets back to me and we'll see how that goes. The most common one that I've used is Facebook Marketplace and then Craigslist. Facebook Marketplace kind of gives you more of a personal feel to who you're talking to versus Craigslist um, gives you more of like a, I'm just sending you an email. I don't know exactly who I'm talking to. And then in other cases, you might not know exactly who you're talking to either. But I prefer Facebook Marketplace over the other options because eBay can be a bit expensive. When, especially when you're coming down to shipping. Now you do have the option to do local pickups with eBay. Craigslist is, is great as well. Um, I just prefer a more personal feel when I'm talking to someone. And how far you're willing to go? He's got back to me that fast. Okay, so he said it's available. And what I'm gonna do, my normal protocol when I'm doing something like this, I'm gonna ask, uh, his, his, uh, what am I gonna say? I'm gonna say, are there any issues? I would like to come check this out. Uh oh, check this out. 
go. I just messaged him. I wasn't expecting him to get back to me that fast, but that's how simple it can be, people. $300 for a machine, you can't go wrong with that. That is actually a very great deal, considering I purchased my first machine around the same price. There's an opportunity right there for somebody. So thank you for tuning in to this video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for tuning in, guys.